Hello everybody, my name is ZDS and welcome to my latest video. Um, as with the information that we got about Pokemon Sun and Moon a couple of days ago, I figured I'd do a quick little uh, recap of the info we got, as well as just a wee bit of speculation. So, um, as you guys know, uh, we received the English names for the Pokemon that were revealed in the trailer and again on Korokora, Cora, being uh, Rockruff for the little puppy Pokemon, and Komala being the little koala Pokemon. Now, those names... You know, cool and all, you know, we got the names of them and stuff like that, that's cool. And sorry, I don't really sound very excited, but I don't really, didn't really care about their names. I've been looking for more Pokemon, and by golly, we got some. Um, if you guys remember, in a trailer released uh, last month, we got information on uh, one of the new Pokemon called Grubbin, which looks like it's going to be the Caterpie, Meta, the, the Caterpie freaking Weedle, whatever thing in this region. But um, just few, two days ago, we got information on its evolutionary line. Its cocoon stage is called Chargebug. It is the first bug electric type Pokemon with an ability called Battery. Um, it will. Uh, it, it looks to me kind of like like a like a. People are saying like a bus because of the window looking motif on its eyes and stuff, but I think it looks kind of cool. Looks a little bit like a green loaf of bread. Kind of like it. And its badass evolution called Vicavolt, which also a bug electric type with the Levitate ability. It's a stag beetle, which is pretty freaking awesome, and I'm definitely going to try that Pokemon out. Um, and then we also got uh, Drompa, a normal dragon type with the abilities um, Berserk and Sap Zipper, and it's shown in the trailer using the move Dragon Breath. Uh, Bruxish, which is a really creepy looking fish Pokemon with giant lips, which is a water psychic type with the ability Dazzling, which prevents uh, priority attacks. And Strong Jaw, which we've seen on Pokemon like Tyrantrum, which boosts the power of uh, fighting moves. And the um, other ones we've seen have been Cutie Fly, which is a bug fairy type, um, with the ability to honey gather and shield dust. Um, it looks like it's probably going to be a pretty relatively weak Pokemon, but maybe it'll evolve. We don't know yet. And probably, in my opinion, one of the most Japanese names I've seen for an English Pokemon, uh, Togedemaru, which looks to be the Pikachu clone of this region. It'll be a electric steel type, though, which we haven't seen since um, Magnezone, Magneton, and Magnemite. And it will have the abilities Iron Barbs and Lightning Rod, which is pretty cool. So let's see what that can do. And finally, we have a uh, Pokemon that is said to be a guardian Pokemon of one of the islands of the Alola region called Tapu Koku. Um, interesting to note, something that I noticed, I believe that this is the only Pokemon to have two separate words as its name. I, technically, you could say that for ho -Oh or Mr. Mime, but Mr. Mime is more of an abbreviation, and ho -Oh is kind of like a hyphen between the two, so... But this is, like, definite, like... I just kind of find it a little unique. It's, it's, it's a definitive two name for this Pokemon. It'll be an electric fairy type with an ability called Electric Surge, which summons um, uh, electric terrain when it enters into battle. And it's a pretty big Pokemon, actually, too. It's like six feet tall. Holy crap. Um, people are speculating that this might be a legendary Pokemon, perhaps one of the legendary trio or something like that. I'm not really sure. Um, that seems pretty interesting, though, to see if we actually get a uh, another electric legendary. I think we have, well, Zapdos, Thunderous, Zekrom, and Raikou, and that's about it. That's, I think... That's a lot of a lot technically, but we don't have many fairy legends. The only one we have is uh, uh, da, 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 Xerneas, but I'm probably wrong on that. Oh, Xerneas and Deancey. But anyway, I, I'm interested to see about what this might do. Perhaps we'll get some more information on it uh, next month or when Coral Coral leaks this month. Uh, I don't know yet, but um, the biggest reason I wanted to do this video was because of this guy right here, Drompa. Uh, not highlight that. Drompa. Um... People are saying that because of its design and its normal dragon typing that it's going to become a Dunsparce clone, or a Dunsparce evolution. I don't think so, although I would really like to see that. But, um, like, in my opinion, it would be freaking awesome, because if this thing does evolve from Dunsparce, I believe that pretty much guarantees that we're going to get new evolutions besides that. But, um... I'm definitely going to use this guy right here, and definitely going to use Vicavolt. And it's looking like we've got some pretty interesting concepts for Pokemon at the moment, and uh, hopefully we'll get some even better ones in the future. But uh, anyway, guys, like I said, this will just be a quick little video, just informing everybody about the new Pokemon leaks we found. Um, I will do a quick video next time we get some more information, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, this has been ZDS, making YouTube fun one video at a time, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you later.